Namaste student. Here again we have uh, two problems related to similar triangle which are based on your answer to question. So both problems are quite similar, not exactly equal. But students get confused. Sometimes this question has been given and they try to solve this one. Generally they don't do this one. But if this question given, they do this one. And if this one, they do this one. Okay. So where is the confusion? So let's see here. If you look at the question carefully, if you'll read once, you will not get any difference between these two. But there's a little difference. If you'll see here, the difference is that here, what you can see that if two side of a uh, two side and a median bisecting one of this side here, see the difference. One of this side and here bisecting the third side of a triangle. See that is the difference between two. Are rest the same and uh, this is quite easy and this is quite but uh, you can say that uh, as compared to this one it's quite uh, lengthy not hard we cannot say the hard but it is lengthy so let's see the problem and uh, this belongs to as theorem only you can take it as theorem or you can take it as a problem but generally we go with a theorem and we know that to prove a theorem we have a four step first is given to prove if there is any construction We'll go for construction and the fourth one is proof so here in the first one you don't have to do any construction but the second one you need to do the construction so here uh, let's see here the problem so first one says that in this two triangle abc and def it is given that means ab by P, uh, c ab by de equals to bc by ef equals to am by dn that means this two side and the uh, happen uh, not happen that is a median bisecting one of these two side median may be from here or from a or from c that is the difference and uh, here the, the difference is that in this one if you'll see the median see here Median is on BC, but we have not taken any BC here. Like we have taken here BC by EF, but we are not taking any BC by EF. We are taking here AB by DE equals to AC by DF, not uh, BC by EF. See, see the difference. That is the difference we need to do. And in this case, let's start one by one. So if we we'll go for the first one, what we have to do, this much you need to write. After that, what we're going to do? We have AB by DE equals to BC by EF equals to AM by DN to show that these two triangles are similar. See here. To show that these two triangles are similar, already we have AB by DE equals to BC by EF. That means if we we'll show that angle B equals to angle E, then we can say that SAS, SAS criteria these two triangles are similar so our target is angle B equals to angle E so <clears throat> here if we show that this this small triangle that means A B M and this small triangle D E and similar then we can say that by definition the corresponding angle must be equal so first target show that A B M similar to D E N and then we say angle B equals to angle E and again we enter into the triangle ABC DEF we can go for your condition and we say that ABC is similar to DEF so here from here you can see that AB will remain uh, AB and DE will remain DE but uh, BC can be written as two times of BM and EF EF can be written as two times of EN why sir because AM is median that means M is the midpoint of BC and if M is the midpoint BC that means BM equals to CM that means we can say that two times of BM equals to BC that's why and the AM remain as AM and DN remain as DN so we'll mention here that uh, M and N are midpoint we'll mention here midpoints of BC and EF respectively okay and uh, to to cancel you can see now that AB by DE equals to BM by EN equals to AM by DN that means we can say that triangle ABM 
is similar to triangle DEN by which criteria by SSS criteria that means side 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 criteria and that means we can say that angle B this implies that angle B equals to angle E by definition of similarity so if two triangles are similar there that means their corresponding angle must be equal that means we can say that angle B equals to angle E that is our target now if you will enter into the triangle triangle A B C and triangle D E F what you can see that A B by D E equals to B C by E F it is given where where it is given according to quotient it is given see this part so we'll take this part we'll skip this part now we don't need now an angle B equals to angle E you can look at here that A B by D E B C by E F and angle B equals to angle E that means we can say that triangle A B C similar to triangle D E F by S A S criteria hence proof okay now if we we'll enter into the second one here we need to do construction so very important we'll enter the construction that means what we're going to do we'll extend this part uh, if we'll take two triangle so this triangle let's see here we are taking the same triangle first we draw and then we'll see the construction part here we a b c and here we have d e f and that means a m and here d n what we're going to do we'll extend it to p such that such that your a m equals to m p that is our target and similarly here we'll extend here to your q such that d n equals to n q okay and then we'll give the name one two three four our target first that this show that that means what what target is there already we have that a b by d e equals to a c by d f we have see if we'll show a b by a b by d e a c by d f we have that means we need angle a equals to angle d if we show angle a equals to angle d then we can say that by s a s criteria a b c is similar to angle d e f that is our target that is angle a equals to angle d and to find this target we have some sub target that means if we show that this part angle 2 equals to angle 4 similarly if we show angle 1 equals to angle 3 and to show this one our target is a p c similar to d q f and to show that similar our target that these two triangle are congruent these two triangle are congruent there are so many target are there so now our first target will enter into that triangle a b m and triangle uh, we have taken a b m so we'll go for p c m so in triangle a b m and triangle uh, p c m what you can see that a m equals to p m yes why because we have taken by construction we'll write here by construction okay and uh, if you look at this part that is your bm that is bm this here we have bm equals to cm why because am is the median am is the median that means am bisect bc so we can say that am uh, not am bm equals to cm am is the median and the third one can you guess third one yes this is your s and this is your s that means we have s and that is our target this a why because you can see that angle a m b equals to angle p m c by vertically opposite angle and hence we can say that triangle a b m congruent to triangle p c m by s a s criteria congruency criteria so please do not look at the uh, handwriting we have a presentation i'll show that presentation just you try to understand okay now if we'll uh, look at this part from here what we're going to get we'll see that a b equals to pc that is our target to get this one that is a b equals to pc we need to show this okay so here we have similarly we can see that no need to show this one separately just we say similarly angle uh, not angle side the de equals to your qf this one similarly and now if we'll into the uh, look at into the given part 
you can see that AB and DE. Instead of AB, we'll write here PC, and uh, instead of uh, DE, we'll write here. So that is QF. That is our target. So we'll see here this part. Uh, okay, we'll enter here. So here we have given part that is AB by DE equals to AC by DF equals to AM by DN. This one we have. Now, if we we'll change this part, replace here, AB can be written as, here we have the diagram. So diagram, if you look at the, pause the video and or go backward, you can see that your, this, this part we have here, PC, AB equals to PC and QF. Instead of AB, we can write PC and uh, instead of DE, we can write QF. And here, AC equals to DF, we'll keep it here. AC equals to DF and uh, last one what you can see that AM that means this is your AM if you take already we have taken by construction that AM equals to MP that means if you multiply 2M so we'll take here 2M 2M if we'll take here 2 2 so what you can see that because numerator and denominator if you multiply 2 no no problem so 2 times of AM means what AP because these two are equal so two times of AM will give you AP and two times of DN will give you DQ so we can write here AP by DQ and if you look at this part what you can see that APC this means this see here what we have right now we have this one PC by DQ AC by DQ and AC not AP by DQ and AC by DF that means triangle APC is similar APC is similar to DQF DQF by SS criteria if they are similar that means their corresponding angle must be equal so in the corresponding angle if you look at this triangle you can see that angle 2 is equal to angle 4 so here we can write here angle 2 equals to angle 4 similarly we can say that LLY similarly we can say that angle 1 if we construct from this side we can see that angle 1 equals to angle 3 so we will not do any construction here just we will write similarly and directly we will say that angle 1 equals to angle 3 so angle 1 equals to angle 3 and if we will add this to uh, this part angle 1 number 1 and number 2 will take and if we will add so we can see that angle 2 and 1 will give you angle A and angle 4 plus angle 3 will give you angle DC by angle 1 plus 2 will give you angle a and here we'll get angle D so that is our target already we have got that is angle A equals to angle D now we can say that in triangle ABC and DE, DEF this is given and I have approved therefore these two triangles are similar so here uh, we have presentation for the first one if we look at the presentation we'll enter into presentation here take the presentation for the first one here okay this is your first presentation for the first problem presentation and now we'll enter into the second one we can see here Next backside, if we'll enter into the this part here, the finishing. I hope it is clear. Thank you.